Congratulations, Washington. You have narrowly averted a fiscal crisis of your own making, but do not put the countdown clock away too soon. Why? New deadlines for you. January 15th, that's when the government will be funded until, and February 7th, when the debt ceiling will need to be raised again. If history is any guide, Washington will take it down to the wire again. It was done in 2011. It's what's happening right now. Social security checks will once again be at risk. Financial markets could again be in turmoil. More threats of debt rating downgrades, and yes, those recession warnings will likely return. Political brinkmanship, the new normal, and economists say that is the biggest concern. This temporary deal could be just the chance, just the chance for politicians to step back and get this done. One analyst said there's a 60% chance Washington stalls again. Three months will not be enough. The stock market isn't out of the woods. Fitch's warning is still on the table, a possible credit rating downgrade. Remember, even when the debt ceiling was raised in 2011, Standard & Poor's still downgraded the U.S. because it came down to the 11th hour. The Dow tanked 600 points when it reopened. So the how, how this deal works out really, really matters here. Big names like Fidelity and JP Morgan sold their short-term treasury bills. A consumer confidence plunged last week by the largest amount since the Lehman Brothers collapse. Companies are sitting on nearly $2 trillion in cash. They are too scared to expand or hire. And the dysfunction in Washington costing the economy upwards of $20 billion. That's according to many estimates. So yes, Washington will get credit for getting together on a deal to avert default, but did Washington really accomplish anything, and how long will it last? <laughs>